So you want to buy a Cessna Caravan. There are many civilian airplanes that look quite as utilitarian as the Caravan. It took some design cues, I think, from a box of Kleenex. Which isn't really a joke, because they're both basically rectangles. And rectangles are good at holding stuff. This is proven by modern day curvy crossover SUVs which struggle to fit a toaster in the trunk. Anyway, when you're moving stuff, square is what you want. And the Cessna Square Van is just that. While it's hip to be a square, it's not hip to go 160 knots in a $3 million airplane. You might say, well, the point is not to go fast. Okay, fine, but it's not to go slow either. It had to have taken some effort to make a 650 horsepower plane go so slow. Caravan has a similar useful load, fuel burn, and runway requirements as an early PC-12. But the PC-12 is 100 knots faster and pressurized. But that is early PC-12s and early caravans are cheaper to buy. For this type of airplane, it's all about utility. Usually, these planes are bought to get something done. So new caravans are competing with early PC-12s. Personally, I'd take the 100 extra knots in pressurization over that new plane smell. You also have Kodiaks to compete with, but I'll save that for the Kodiak video. Tease. Finally, these performance numbers are for the wheeled regular caravan. Grand Caravan adds about 750 pounds to the useful load, while Floats takes away about 1,200 pounds of useful load and brings cruise speed down to 147 knots. Oof. Let's buy one. For a turboprop single, it's fairly affordable. TBMs, Pilatus, and even Pipers tend to be a little bit more expensive. Quest Kodiaks are a little cheaper. Individual expenses are a little more in line with its peers. It burns between 300 and 400 pounds of jet fuel an hour, and the Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6A114 overhauls for about $250,000 at 3,600 hours. The midlife hot section is about $125,000, which means your engine loses about $104 of value every hour it's running. Hourly costs and yearly costs are right in line with a 650 horsepower turboprop single, but the cost per mile is pretty high, just because you're traveling so slow. Sure it is slow for the cost, but sometimes runways are scarce, and water is plentiful, and no matter how fast they are, you can't land a TBM or a PC-12 on a lake. Not more than once anyway. That's the Cessna Caravan. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.